Hi besties and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi if you're new. Today I'm so excited to sit down and share with you guys my September favorites for 2023. These are some of my favorite videos to film because I love having a sit down chit chatty video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. Definitely hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. If we have anything in common let me know in the comments down below because I love 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 chit chatting with you guys and I do read and respond back to every single comment. Now if you guys have been watching these videos for a while on my channel because I do them every month you know I start off my top five songs on Spotify and my Spotify is just at Kelly Two Wise Tomlinson so definitely go check it out. I switched over my phone case to this super cute one from Berga and it has a pop socket on it and I just feel like it's so perfect for fall. Like it is officially fall, it's chilly. I switched over my closet. We're breaking out all the fall colors and pieces. So I went to the Five Seconds of Summer concert and it was seriously so much fun. I was gonna vlog it but I didn't end up vlogging it so I'll put a little clip on the screen for you guys. Do we have any five sauce fans here tonight? And I have been obsessed with their music. I've been listening to it nonstop. I have three songs that I want to share with you guys from them. The first one is Bad Omens. At first I was like, I'm not really sure if this is going to be one of my favorite songs, but it is. I made a playlist with their set list. So I was listening to it all month long. This is their opening song and I just am obsessed. Another one that of course is a favorite and I've loved this since it came out is Amnesia. I was so excited when they played it. It was just one of those concerts that kind of took me back in time because I used to listen to them like when One Direction was really big and it just made me so happy and I was so happy to be there. And then the last song I want to share with you guys from them is Jet Black Heart. Oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite songs. It's like one of my top five favorite songs from all of their music together. And when they played that, it was just so like magical almost. Those are my three favorite songs from Five Seconds of Summer. Now, Olivia Rodrigo just dropped a new album in September called Guts. I'm a huge fan. I love her music. And my two top favorite songs from her new album are Get Him Back. I find it so funny and I just think it's such a great song. And I also really, really love the singing that she dropped vampire those are my two favorite songs off the whole album but I had to share it with you guys so definitely go check out her new album and again I do have a ton of playlists on my Spotify if you guys want to check it out it's just that Kelly at two ways Tomlinson it's always linked down below in case you want to check it out or if you want to recommend any music let me know and now I want to share with you guys all what I've been reading because you guys might have seen my last video and it was a book shopping vlog and haul and oh my gosh I recently stumbled across a booktube and I think I found like the content that I want to be creating so I hope you guys enjoy it. Fingers crossed I really hope that you guys like this kind of content because I find it so fun and I love to read so I do have three books to share with you guys. I love 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 to read and I feel like I'm so blessed to be such a fast reader. So in my last vlog I was reading The Summer I Turned Pretty and I watched the series on Netflix over the summer and I was completely obsessed and I'm like I just have to read the book because I need to know how season three is going to go. I have been a Team Conrad girly from the show and then when I read book one and it is so good. It's very different than the show so if you like the show and you want to know what happens I would highly recommend reading it and I think they're young adult books. So they're pretty easy fast read and it's just a really good summer book and I think there's so many differences from the book and the show which is the kind of be expected but then I read book two it's not summer without you which is very similar to season two I don't want to say any spoilers but they go back to Cousins Beach and have to deal with some things with regards to their beach house and it is so good and there weren't as many like flashbacks and stuff as there were in the show I don't know if watching the show made me change my opinion of the book or if I would have liked the book more had I not watched the show but I definitely liked the show more than the books because there's a lot of differences in characters and plot and everything as to be expected but I really liked it I will say up until the very end it was a little boring and that might just have been because I watched the show but oh my goodness this book made me turn from Team Conrad to Team Jeremiah really quick. So I'm so excited to get started on book three. But I did start The Fine Print and this is my book recommendation for you guys. I bought it at Target and it is a billionaire romance where the main character Rowan grandfather who owns the big company passes away and his three brothers have different challenges that he wished for them so that way they can get part of the business and he meets this girl who works at one of the dream parks that he is revamping and it's just a really cute story so far I really like it I'm not very far into it I just started it yesterday and I'm on page 42 
I'm on chapter six and I, I like it. I am a sucker for like a romance book like this. So those are my three books that I wanted to share with you guys. I really have gotten into reading as you guys might be able to tell. And then I also want to share with you guys what I've been watching and it's on Netflix and Amazon Prime and it's called Friday Night Lights. Now this has been out forever. I just finished up One Tree Hill a few months ago and John and I watch it together and it's so much fun. It's kind of got like romance and drama but also has sports. So I think that's why John watches this for the football and it's really, really good and we just finished season two yesterday so we're moving on to season three it's just like a small town football drama like it focuses on a few characters and it's really really good so I highly recommend that but that's all the shows and movies I have to recommend because I really have been reading a lot so I don't have as much time to watch a lot of shows but on to my favorite part of clothing oh my gosh it was my birthday on the 10th and John surprised me with another pair of roller rabbit pjs and they are the blue ones and they're like the long sleeve button down ones and I have the short sleeve ones in I think it's in the shade watermelon and they're so cute I just get these in size medium they're really really soft it's called prima cotton I think that's how you pronounce it but it is so soft and I find them to be really oversized and I don't know if that's just me but I got them in a size medium I don't think I quite fit into a small but they are definitely snuggly and like kind of like that comfy oversized fit in a medium but I love them I just think they're so cute I love anything like little cartoon monkeys and I just think they're so precious and they're so perfect for the fall because I got the long lounge pants with them so this was such a fun surprise on my birthday then I've been styling this striped shirt and I got this from Shein over the summer and it is a drop shoulder like long sleeve and it's so lightweight that I love it but I have been waiting to wear it because it's been so hot that it now finally feels like fall and I was switching over my closet earlier this week and I've noticed your girl has a lot of stripes I think I love a simple stripe look because it's such a great way to style anything and add a lot of like texture and pattern to your outfit but this is next to my stripes and I really do wear this a lot and it is my zebra print tee but this was so cute I was wearing it with a denim skirt and I was like I just have to share this as part of my favorites and it's from Jones of New York it's a petite small and it's just so cute I love the pattern of it so you guys might have seen this in an OOTW now I can't stop talking about this sweater I've worn it a multiple times I've been like guys look at my new sweater and I need to wash it it has makeup on it so please ignore that but it is this gorgeous baby blue Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater I am in love with this sweater I feel like it was the perfect end of summer early fall sweater I just love the material these are some of my favorite sweaters just because they're so chunky and I love the knitting of them but this color is just so gorgeous so I've been wearing this a lot and I love it I think it's just so cute and I even wear it like with my pajamas sometimes just to stay warm and then my last clothing favorite is a pair of J. Crew Chino shorts now I love J. Crew Chino shorts I have them in so many different colors now personally I like to transition my shorts into my summer and spring wardrobe that thankfully I get to keep at my parents house because I share a closet with John and I kept these out along with a few other really neutral colors that can style into the fall and I feel like this olive green color is perfect for the fall and winter because in Ohio the weather is so crazy like some days it'll be like 60s 70s and then sometimes we'll have a random spike of 90 degree weather and I can't have all my shorts put away so I keep some fall colored ones out and I just love the look of these so these are definitely a favorite this month and then I do have a few accessories that I want to share with you guys and like I mentioned it was my birthday so my mom and dad got me this gorgeous little blue star necklace and it's from Kendra Scott it's so cute I feel like I've worn it already in a few videos and I just love it I love anything that's like gold hardware and it's just so unique like look how cute that little star is oh my gosh and then John's little siblings got me a necklace as well and it's so gorgeous and I think it's so cute and it's got a little K on it a little K on it for Kelly with a little like oceany pearl and it's on a gold chain it's so stinking cute and I just feel like these were such sweet and thoughtful gifts that I had to share with you guys because I've been styling them and wearing them like crazy. Another accessory that I've been loving are my little Ugg minis. These are so snuggly and warm. I love to wear them around the house, but they're also just perfect little slip-on booties. And I really do think Uggs are going to be so in this fall and winter again, which I love because they're so comfy. And then another shoe 
that I've been loving is my vintage Havana little slip-on Sherpa sneakers. I think these are so cute. I would love to get another pair of these that are just like regular sneakers because I love the little star detailing of them. They're kind of like a golden goose dupe and I love that because I honestly don't see myself ever buying a pair of golden gooses but these are so stinking cute. And then my last accessory I want to share with you guys are my little bracelet stack. My mom and dad got me these two and then John got me this chain and I just love the look of all these different textures and chains and they're all gold and I feel like it's such a pretty but classy little stack of bracelets. But now I want to share with you guys some of my beauty favorites. And they are kind of random all over the place. The first one is this reverse Sunday morning oil serum. And you like shake it up. And I love putting this on. I feel like it's a really nice like moisturizing serum. But it also makes my skin so glowy in the morning. So this has definitely been a part of my skincare routine. I also have been using this Merit blush like a balm and you just kind of roll it on and you can dab it i love this for no makeup days but i also have it on right now and i think it's a really pretty shade then i went to walgreens and got two maybelline products and i got this fit me concealer and i think i got this in a shade too light but i've been using it and i really like it don't know what shade it is but i think i got a shade just a little bit too light but i've been needing a concealer and i love the liquid concealer it's a nice change of pace because i usually use the little stick one and then i also got some brow express eyebrow gel and I love this stuff it is my favorite product it is just like a little mascara wand but it's clear and you put it up in your eyebrows to brush them up and then my last beauty favorite is of course my Gucci guilty perfume I need to get more of this soon because we are running a little bit low but this is my favorite fall scent and I just feel like it's so warm and cozy that I have to share this with you guys but those are all of my clothing and beauty and accessory favorites so if we have anything in common let me know or if there's anything you think I should check out leave a comment i love chit chatting with you guys and i always love finishing off these videos with a quote that's been inspired me and that quote is a new era of me and i just really really like this because we're constantly growing and evolving and we're always going to be in this new era i feel like this fall this change of season is going to be a new version of myself and i couldn't be more excited about it so i thought that was a very fitting quote so hopefully that motivates you inspires you and i just want to say thank you again for watching this video you guys are seriously so amazing if you haven't already definitely hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys back here with another video very soon bye guys